Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask, Heidi. It's Thursday, the 18th day of August, National Fajita Day. Fajita? No, it's Fajita. I'm just being silly. National Ice Cream Pie Day. Oh, I, I, I like those. Mm-hmm. And ice cream cakes, I like. Me too. National Mail Order Catalog Day. National Pinot Noir Day. That's a... Yum. Uh, do you like that kind of wine? I do. Okay. And yeah. uh, Congressional Startup Day today as well. So all of those things happening. And I have a Dear John letter. I'm excited to hear Heidi's take on this Dear John letter. It's about a man. He and his wife have been uh, married for 20 years. They have an anniversary coming up. He wants to bring the kids with and renew their vows like as a secret for, for the... My wife and I have had this okay. conversation. We have. She she's like, we don't need to renew our vows. They don't expire. So I already I already know where Heidi's going to go with I this. I don't but like the way you're talking. I just about think it's me. really funny because you make it sound like, well, if we don't do that, it's not like we're going to get unmarried. <laughs> Anyway, Dear John Letter, you can check it out if you want. And you can comment if you'd like at Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left. So how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Scientists say they finally discovered why thinking too hard makes you tired. In a study published in the journal Current Biology, researchers used magnetic resonance spectroscopy to monitor brain metabolites over the course of six hours, roughly a workday. Uh, for two different groups of people. I probably said half of that wrong already. <laughs> this is a very smart study. One given mentally task, uh, mentally <laughs> taxing tasks to complete. Another given easier versions. As expected, the first group started showing classic signs of fatigue, pupil dilation, loss of self-regulation, saying things like, I'm totally exhausted. But the MRS showed another symptom too. Higher levels of amino acid glutamate in the prefrontal cortex. Wow, All of this is way above I gotta I've got a, a headache. Second. I do have a headache just reading the story about headaches. Anyway, uh, they're saying that apparently there's something to do with uh, the work, and that's why we get tired, and that's why we get headaches. And You can read it if you want. I'm, I'm bailing out of this story. It's in the show notes, though, for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on Energy any canister drinkblitzenergy.com promo code radio20 that's drinkblitzenergy.com did you know brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com heidi did you know rich people are dining more often at family style restaurant chains like applebees and ihop these days that's nice yeah it says in the quarter ending june 30 sales at two chains grew eight percent among households earning over seventy five thousand dollars a year how do they know that Right. They say cash-strapped Americans, consumers swap their higher-priced goods for more affordable alternatives. Uh, and while that can be good for news for like Applebee's and IHOP, there's also the flip side. Both brands saw their sales drop among households under $50,000 a year. Again, how do they know that? Exactly. Why? Dine CEO John Payton, whose company owns both of those restaurants, assume he says, we assume that they've left us for lower-cost options, end quote. Oh, so I didn't know Applebee's and IHOP were connected. Did you know that? No. They have the same ownership, apparently. I did not know that. And uh, I don't know how they know how much you make just by swiping your card. Do they Do they have a way to tell that? Just uh, by... Yes, they have uh, a way to tell everything. All right, because you have to do... apply to get a card. Oh, so when you uh, swipe well, a card, yeah. it's all connected. Well, you don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. If you are already missing Better Call Saul, even though it just wrapped up, I got some bad news. With a bit of wiggle room, uh, co-creators Peter Gould and uh, Vince Gilligan said they don't want to overdo the Breaking Bad universe, so we shouldn't hold our breath for more stuff, things from Walter White and Saul Goodman. 
Uh, apparently, what they're saying is there there may be a spinoff, but maybe not. Also, they s- talked about the the sequel of the film El Camino, but they say it's best to know when to leave the party. I don't yeah, know about all this stuff. Yeah, you might not need to move forward with a spinoff. They say never say never, but, you know, probably not. Right. And if you want to know a lot more about Steve Martin, you are in luck. A new documentary is in the works about the life and career of the iconic comedian, star of Father of the Bride, and uh, The Jerk, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I do have to say, I've always loved him. I think, yeah, he always, I thought he seemed like a neat guy. He just recently turned 77 and uh, I, he's also it sounds like he's wrapping up his his acting career. I read a story about that. Well, he's you yeah. know he's 77. been in it for a long Gotta time. Give the guy Let a chance to take a break. All right, big screen, little screen. Brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Join us in October for the Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel Group. Group.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Um, this is an interesting topic, tipping people. So this is, we're, we're going to talk the whole time about tipping. It says uh, you probably tip the person who cuts your hair, maybe tip the person who delivers your dinner. How about tipping the person who cuts your lawn? It says more and more often we're seeing a gratuity option on card payment machines in industries right. where... Tipping Where was never yep, customary. Yep. Fast food chains. You'll see some of those that have a tip line now. Uh, auto mechanics. This modern phenomenon known as the tip creep, where the tip's creeping its way into other things, it's causing some online discussions. Some, for whom the practice leaves a very bad taste in their mouth, are venting about being asked if they'd like to pay an extra 15% or more on top of what they're already paying for takeout pizza. They're going, I'm picking it up. You're not delivering it. I'm right, picking exactly. it up. So uh, how about oil changes? That's another one. Or filling your propane tank. Why now, you might ask? Go ahead and ask, Heidi. Why now? I'm glad you asked, Heidi. <laughs> for one, as customers shift away from carrying cash... It's easier than ever for any business to ask for a little bit extra because they're handing you a slip that you're going to sign anyway. So they're going, well, part of it is just because, you know, it's there. And if you put the line on there, it's like an automatic prompt on the card payment machine or there's like a little slip. Psychologists call that a tip nudge. Right. For another, uh, as we learned in depth in the pandemic, people who perform an essential service are sometimes undervalued. But they're very, very important. Inflation is another likely driver. Faced with rising costs, employers may view a tip as a really nice way to address workers' demands for higher pay without actually increasing their wages on their side of things. So a lot of discussion about this. And I'm not going to even get into it because I know some yep, people are some... adamant both ways. Exactly. And whichever way you're adamant, you're right because it's your opinion. Scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at RadioTravelGroup.com. That's RadioTravelGroup.com. And it's time right now for Dear, Dear John, John Letters. Dear John. Dear John. I'm excited to see Heidi's answer today. I think I know what it's going to be. I should write it down <laughs> right now ahead of time and then hold it up later and show that I knew what I was going to say. Uh, here's the letter first, though. Dear John, my wife and I were married 20 years ago. Our anniversary is coming up in a few weeks, and we're talking, I'm sorry, and we're taking a little vacation to the same place we had our honeymoon. I wanted to bring our kids along, but she said that would be weird. I secretly want to renew our vows and make it another whole celebration. We've been through quite a bit in our 20 years. I stood by her side through some tough medical issues. She was with me through the loss of my mother and my father. We've had ups and downs, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. How do I convince her to let the kids come with us? I would have a separate room for them, of course. We can finally afford to do this. Do I just tell her why I want to bring them? 
It would ruin the surprise, but would that be better? Signed, Madly in Love. All right, Heidi, go ahead and say what you're going to say. Your wedding vows don't expire. They don't. But you know what? The whole renewing of the vows, I think it's kind of romantic. I know you do. Because we've talked about this. <laughs> yeah. I could have written this letter, actually, because this is almost exactly. Although I wasn't going to try to smuggle the kids along. Uh, I was going to do, here's the thing for us, and we'll come back to this letter in a moment. We got married uh, twenty, almost 23 years ago, and we did a destination wedding, which was really cool. It was. And, uh, but, and then we came home. We had a celebration for our friends and family. But I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have, you know, uh, uh, hey, any reason for a party is what I'm saying. So, <laughs> but I just think it'd be really kind of neat to do that again. And, and our destination wedding, I don't even know if we're legally married. So <laughs> <laughs> That is a good point. We couldn't really even understand what he was He's saying. Like, do you us? take a <laughs> minute to be your lovely wife? I'm like, what well, do I say yes here? I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Uh, but no, it was it was really neat, and uh, it doesn't really have the details in here other than 20 years. They're sneaking up on 20 years. Congratulations, by the way. Now, any ladies listening who maybe have a 20-year anniversary coming up, and you maybe got a husband saying we should bring the kids with, and you said no, maybe you know what he's up to already. So uh, I'm not trying to spoil the surprise, but I think it's a neat idea. Now, I understand, Heidi, vows don't expire. They so don't. I get that. But don't you think that the whole concept of what they want to do is kind of a neat idea where he's saying, I want to have the kids come along and I want to make another celebration out of this? I wouldn't want to do it. Really? No. Are there any circumstances at all in which you'd say, I think it would be kind of cool to do this, to do like a a renewal of the vows or to do a celebration like that? I mean, if it was like I'm held at gunpoint and it's like either do this or you're out, then I'd be like, "Uh, let me think about it. (laughs) Oh, man. Come on, Heidi. (sighs) Well, now I know it's going to take on my side of things. Madly in love. Hopefully you don't have the uphill climb I have. Um, I would love for people to chime in. Heidi's already said her piece. (laughs) Anybody else? would like to chime in, you can do it on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash John and Heidi show. And again, here's my two cents. I think it's a really sweet thing that he wants to do this. Um, I think that it's a, a neat idea personally. And I understand where Heidi is saying she's not a fan. And again, it's not because either, I don't think this guy thinks that his vows are needing to be renewed like they're going to expire. I don't think that's what it is. No, he's trying to be romantic. Exactly. But you might want to make sure this is something that she would be into before you make these kinds of plans. Well, And quite frankly, if it's something like that, she probably should know in advance because she's going to want to have what she wants to wear yeah. for this event. And so there you go. That'll be my advice. Um, I would I would tell her, here's why I want to bring the kids along. I yeah. want to renew our vows and I want to make a whole thing of it. And on here, and then he you'll asks, know right then and there if it's worth even spending the money on. Because if you drag her there and she's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want would people looking like at me. That? I don't. Oh, that's I you. would. That's exactly what. Well, she asked on here, or he asked, he said, it would it would ruin the surprise, but would that be better? I think the answer there is yes. Yes. Because now, you know, and she knows, and yep. then everybody involved can make the right decision. Yes. You can chime in with your advice at facebook.com slash John and Heidi show. Also, if you would like to submit a Dear John letter for next week, I'm all out of Dear John letters. That happens every year in the summertime. People get busy. So hopefully we have a Dear John under between now and next week. So if you've been waiting, you've been saying, oh, I'm waiting for just the right thing to send in my silly little thing to see if John and Heidi will read it. We read most of them. Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Or you can even do that at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Official temperatures used in weather apps are taken in the shade, not in the sunlight. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's hotter in the sun than it is in the shade. Yeah. Uh, Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Likely due to climate change, allergy season is getting longer and more intense every single year. Really? So, yeah. Uh, Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The human body becomes partially paralyzed while you sleep to prevent harming itself while dreaming. 
What? Yeah, yeah. So like when you're running and stuff, you ever have that where you wake up and you're like kicking around because you were running in a dream? Yeah. You ever have it where you're falling, you wake up and you're like, you felt like you're falling? I've done that so many times. Uh, but they're saying you're partially yeah. paralyzed, so that doesn't happen all the time. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Wet hay bales can spontaneously combust if they're stored improperly. I knew that. Have you ever seen that happen? I have not seen I that happen. Seen I happen. did not know that could happen. It can. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Under extreme high pressures, diamonds can be made from peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. What? That's pretty cool. There you go. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Here's your question, Heidi. 85% of us love the smell of this, but the rest think it stinks. What is it? So there's like no middle ground, by the way. It's either you're like, oh, I love that smell, or it's like, I don't like that smell at all. Fresh cut grass? No. The ocean. Oh. 85% of us love the smell of the ocean. Oh, I love the smell yeah. of the ocean. And then there's another 15% they are like, no. Not even close. Huh. All right. Mint Mobile question. By the way, if you're one that does not like the smell of the ocean, you should not live near the ocean. <laughs> no, that's so you know kind of good advice. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way courtesy of mintervention.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel group.com time now for some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com weather experts have given names to hurricanes and tropical storms for years but now they've begun doing the same thing for extreme heat waves after scientists decided to call the recent heat wave in spain zoe an associate professor at selva university jose maria martin olala shared Zoe was recorded from July 24th through July 27th when temperatures in the area reached 44 Celsius, which is 112 Fahrenheit. Okay. Because of the hot temperatures, the locals have endured the summer. They called it uh, the Pro Meto Savela Project. They launched this project to bring awareness about heat waves. And one of the things they decided to do is we should start naming them. Why don't we name these? Naming I don't know. the heat waves. But it says they're going to do it differently because they're going to start with Z and work their way backwards. Okay. So system is expected to become a model for other countries and other governments as well. I think it's bizarre. It's hot. It's extremely bizarre. It doesn't bizarre. need a name. It's hot. <laughs> Let's just call it that. Hot. Weird news. Brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list. Brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. These are the most common iPhone issues. Now, I do not have an iPhone. My wife does not have an iPhone. But our daughter has an iPhone. Right. Um, I don't. I have to ask her if she has any of these. So we'll start at number ten. Work our way up. AirPods not connecting to the iPhone. Thirteen thousand people had that issue. CarPlay not working. Fifteen thousand. iPhone won't turn on. Sixteen thousand. Liquid detected in Lightning connector. Seventeen thousand. iPhone virus. Eighteen thousand. Not charging. Thirty-one thousand. Stuck on an Apple Apple logo. Another thirty-one thousand. Face ID not working. Thirty-two thousand. Forgot the iPhone passcode. Thirty-eight thousand. That's not a phone problem. That's a person problem. <laughs> right. And the number one iPhone is disabled and will not connect to iTunes. Forty-two thousand people per month have had that issue so isn't that crazy that is i suppose it could be if you searched for any phone problem you'd probably find the same kind of list because we have a lot of the same stuff that is the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com 
Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today from Sarah Brown. Sarah says, the only thing that ever sat its way to success was a hen. That's true. I, I like love that. that. The only thing that ever sat its way to success was yep, a hen. I love that. That's very cool. Thank you, Sarah Brown. <laughs> and if you ever come across a fun little quote that makes you smile, you can, you can share that at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Take a listen to this. This is a really cool story. A caregiver surprised the adults that she supports by asking them to be her bridesmaids. Aww. Catherine Colgan of Cornwall, England says when her fiancé proposed, she instantly knew she wanted the adults that she supports, all of whom have Down syndrome, to be part of her special day. How sweet is that? She struck up a relationship with Jamie, Daisy, Francesca, and Chloe, who range in age from 18 to 26, by enjoying trips to the local swimming pool and cinema together. She asked the four of them to be her flower maids by getting them to open boxes full of balloons, all four were ecstatic Aww. and already planning a bachelorette party for the bride to be. She says there were plenty of happy tears when asked uh, for them to be a part of her wedding day. She is planning a Disney inspired Halloween wedding, so they'll get to wear princess dresses. Oh, they're going to love so, that. How cute. A Disney inspired Halloween wedding. So that'll be interesting. At first, I was thinking that was two completely different things. So I'm like, Halloween would be a spooky wedding. Not but necessarily, I think just dressing Disney, up in yeah, costumes. Yeah, exactly. Disney inspired, meaning just wearing costumes. So everybody right. gets to wear a costume. That makes a lot more sense to me. I think that's really, really neat. Um, that is a good news story. And if you want to read all of the details, I've got that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. It is a Thursday. Earlier in the program, we had a Dear John letter. You can also chime in with advice for our Dear John letter for today at that same place, facebook.com slash johnandheidyshow. But I also want to remind you, I don't have a letter for next week. So we're all caught up. If you have a burning issue, some question that you just need to have answered, it can be a Dear John letter. It can even be a Dear Heidi letter. I'd rather not answer any questions about burning sensations. <laughs> well, that's not what I'm talking about. Don't send those letters. <laughs> but if you do have a question you'd like to submit, you can do that at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Thursday.